Have you ever had the craving to go on a crazy extreme holiday? Well, look no further. We are your petrifying travel guide. Here's the world's scariest places to visit. Firstly, we have the island of Dolls in Mexico. Did the film Annabelle scare you? Well, this place will be a living nightmare. This small island in Mexico is famous for the dolls that are hanging from every tree you look at. This island used to belong to Julian Beria, who after finding a girl's dead body near the canal, scattered these dolls everywhere to warn off any evil spirits from entering. Did it work? Who knows? But one thing I do know is that I won't be in a hurry to pay a visit there anytime soon. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday play! Next on the list is Snake Island in Brazil. Being afraid of snakes myself, this place truly petrifies me. Snake Island in Brazil is an island that is full of unbelievable number of snakes. How many to be precise? Well, it is estimated that there is between 1 to 5 dangerous snakes between every square metre of the island. And the island is 430,000 square metres. That's potentially over 2 million snakes just on this tiny island. Fortunately for our safety though, it is now illegal for us to visit this island, so probably best not to book any flights to Brazil if you love snakes. Doll Village, Nagoro, Japan. What is it about dolls that creeps me out so much? In Japan there is a small place named Doll Village, which is home to around 350 full-size dolls. These dolls represent people who have left or passed away in the village and is serve as a memory for them. Although the message behind this is sweet, my fear for dolls just makes this place scary. Here are some clips of Doll Village. The Suicide Forest, Japan. This is the forest in Japan where many people go in order to end their own life. The suicide rate is so high in this forest that the authorities have actually stopped counting the deaths as the numbers got too high. Many people who have visited the forest claim that you often see corpses hanging from trees, schools on the ground and that you can feel a strong presence of spirits around you as you walk through there. People often camp in the forest as they think about their life before they make their final decision. Meaning that this is common to see tents as you walk through the forest. If you do visit this place in Japan, make sure to always show respect. A lot of people have lost their loved ones there. The Paris Catacombs, France, in the late 1700s. There was a large amount of public health problems in Paris due to the city cemetery. As a result, they had to place the corpse's bones in the underground tunnels under the city. After 12 years, there is now between 6 and 7 million bodies moved there and you are able to book time to go down and have a look. Other than seeing millions of dead people's bones, the stories about the Paris catacombs are even more petrifying. One story in particular explains that tourists have ran off from their tour guide and never have been found to this day. Another legend has it that there is footage of a man who filmed his spiral into insanity as he was alone in the catacombs and lost. He has still never been found. Here is that footage. It's very bizarre. His arrows point in a direction. Occasionally also, he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones, which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. So basically, he's filming what he's seeing very deep inside the catacombs, other than the point of view shots, or pictures of human bones. The catacombs for centuries. 
So it is possible with these paintings uh, that we may be able to retrace the itinerary to some extent. After about four, we hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden, we hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden, this video camera That's all from the scariest places you can go on holiday to. Which one did you find creepiest? Let us know in the comments! Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the post notifications button for more F your review content and all things scary.